Welcome to my course on genome editing and engineering. We are discussing about severe combined immunodeficiency disease. So, in this part we are going to uh, discuss about the diagnosis of severe combined immunodeficiency diseases. In general more than 80 percent of skid infants do not have a family history of the condition. Uh, however, development of a newborn screening test has made it possible to detect skid before symptoms appear, uh, helping ensure that affected infants receive uh, life saving uh, treatments. Some of the existing diagnostic procedures for detecting skid are flow cytometric immunophenotyping of lymphocyte subsets in peripheral blood, which is carried out to enumerate naive T cells, NK cells, and B cells in the peripheral blood of identifying. Uh, the skid type. On the other hand, newborns are screened uh, for skid using the T cell receptor excision circle assay or TCRCE, which is a method for early identification of infants uh, having skid. Uh, other diagnostic methods include ADA and PNP enzyme assays, which are carried out to detect these particular enzymes. Then we have T cell receptor excision circles or tracks. Uh, these are pieces of DNA excised during development of the T cell receptor, which is an accurate measure of timing output and skid patients have a low number of uh, tracks. Uh, lastly, T cell function is assessed by the in vitro measurement of responses to mitosins such as phytohemagglutinin and concannabinin A. Uh, now, uh, let us discuss about the conventional treatment approaches for skid. Uh, skid is a fatal disease usually within the first year or two of life uh, unless infants receive immunorestoring treatments uh, which may be as follows, uh, transplants of blood forming stem cells, uh, gene therapy or enzyme therapy. Uh, one of the conventional treatment approach uh, is immunoglobulin replacement therapy IGRT. Here purified gamma globulins are administered through intravenous or subcutaneous routes. Uh, however, there are certain adverse effects like headache, malaise, nausea, tremors, fever, cystamine and coagulation changes uh, experienced by the uh, patient. Another is the antimicrobial prophylaxis. Skid patients are highly susceptible to various infectious microorganisms. They are administered with antimicrobial prophylaxis with regular immunoglobulin replacement. Uh, for example, crotrimoxazole uh, for pneumocystis infection, uh, fluconazole as antifungal prophylaxis and acyclovir as herpes simplex virus prophylaxis are used. Uh, another treatment approach is hematopoietic stem cell transplantation ACSCT. Uh, overall, survival of skid patients after uh, receiving ACSCT is uh, about uh, for 70 percent. Uh, although several factors may have an impact, example donor matching, older age, presence of infection, skid phenotype, genotype and ethnicity. Use of genetically identical matched sibling donors MSDs results in the highest survival rates as high as uh, 90 percent or more. MSDs are available for about 20 percent of skid patients, uh, alternative donors including mismatched related donors matched unrelated donors or umbilical cord blood donors are often used with lower survival rates. SSCT performed in patients with uh, age uh, around 3.5 months is associated with a higher survival and reduced rate of clinical para problems. The presence of active infection is associated with uh, reduced survival. Complications may present post SSCT and include acute and chronic graft versus host disease, graft failure requiring a second transplant and late effects of conditioning uh, regimens. Uh, gene therapy uh, with patients, uh, hematopoietic stem cells was developed to tackle the problems of graft versus host disease and graft failure rejection associated with SSCT. Uh, in gene therapy, autologous hematopoietic stem cells harvested from the patient are transdued transduced with a viral vector containing a correct copy of the gene 
along with regulatory elements that control gene expression such as promoters and enhancers. The viral vector allows integration of the therapeutic transient into the hematopoietic stem cell genome and corrected SSCs are infused back into the patient. The first person to receive gene therapy trial was Asanti De Silva for Alaskid on 14th September 1990. Here is the schematic for uh, gene therapy protocol used in SCID X1 clinical trials. So, here SSPCs are obtained from the patient's uh, bone marrow or mobilized PBSCs. Then CD4, uh, CD34 plus uh, cells are sorted, harvested and activated. So, CD34 SSPCs are sorted from bone marrow or mobilized peripheral blood stem cells using magnetic separation and cultured with uh, cytokines. The cells are transdu transduced with the specific vector containing the corrective human interleukin 2 receptor G gene, IL 2 RG, and after a period of culture, the cells are reinfused into the cell patient. In most recent tri clinical trials, the cells are uh, cells were infused after a low dose conditioning treatment. Subsequently, uh, the immune reconstitution starts, and the patient is uh, theoretically uh, cured uh, for life. Uh, in the first trials uh, of gene therapy for SCID, retroviral vectors were used in which expression of the normal transient was driven by the retrovirus long terminal repeat or LTR. With this approach, successful and durable T cell reconstitution was achieved in patients with X SCID and other SCID. Unfortunately, several patients uh, developed uh, leukemia due to preferential integration of retroviral vectors. Uh, in proximity of transcription initiation sites of genes including oncogenes and by the strong enhancer activity of the viral LTR uh, leading to increased and deregulated expression of the targeted oncogenes. To overcome the ever problem self-inactivating retroviral vector uh, seen RV in which the U3 enhancer was deleted uh, from the LTR and expression was driven by the weaker eukaryotic human elongation factor 1 alpha. Uh, EF1 alpha short promoter was developed as safe alternative. Additionally, seen lentiviral vectors have been developed to reduce integration within proto oncogenes. Some viral vectors used in uh, gene therapy of skid action uh, patients. Uh, in first generation gamma retroviral vectors, gamma RVs, uh, the gene expression is controlled by a long terminal repeat uh, sequence. Uh, in second generation self inactivating uh, gamma RV and lentiviral vectors, the uterine region uh, of LTR is deleted and the human interleukin 2 receptor gamma gene IL2 RG as shown in the figure uh, expression is driven by an internal uh, mammalian uh, promoter. Moreover, the LVs contain a cotton optimized uh, IL2 RG complementary DNA to further improve the transient expression and u region is replaced with a chromatin insulator element uh, called INS. Uh, MOLVI e stands for Moloni uh, murine leukemia virus, EFS stands for eukaryotic human elongation factor 1 alpha uh, sort promoter uh, as shown in this uh, picture by uh, Blanco et al. However, uh, gene therapy has certain limitations. What are the limitations of uh, gene therapy? Uh, they include semi-random integration pattern of viral vectors and often unregulated transient expression in transduced cells. And by improving safety features of viral vectors, current phase 1 to gene therapy trials have been applied to the treatment of SCID types, other SCID and SCID X1 with successful clinical outcomes as reported uh, by Rai et al. Uh, while seen RV and seen LV vectors demonstrate a safer integration site profile, greater control over vector site integration is still uh, desired. Genome editing tools with engineered endonucleases offer much more control over the integration site of viral vectors used in gene therapy as suggested by Branco et al. in 2020. So, the latest uh, therapeutic approach is the genome editing uh, in uh, SCID. 
Genome editing through homologous recombination based strategy is used in the great majority of genetic blood diseases like skid to correct the genotype. The process is much more challenging than NHEJ based pathways due to its low efficiency particularly in targeting primitive ACSPCs. Uh, many published uh, preclinical studies has demonstrated the immense potential of gene editing using homologous recombination in genetic conditions affecting the hematopoietic system including X-linked skid. Researchers have used either a gene correction or a cDNA addition strategy targeting either T cells or CD34 plus HSPCs. The challenge however remains in reaching editing frequencies in the stem cell population capable of multi lineage and long term hematopoietic uh, repopulation. However, for diseases like XKID with an enormous survival advantage of corrected cells, uh, more than 10 percent editing frequencies are expected to have a uh, therapeutic effect. One of the gene editing technologies that is used in SCID is in GLFN. Uh, here, preclinical proof of concept uh, involving GLFN mediated correction of the IL to RG gene in ACCs have been demonstrated. Uh, and the feasibility of targeted gene editing uh, in such multipotent uh, cells uh, have been uh, uh, tried. In, in 2005, uh, Urnov et al. were among the first groups to demonstrate functional correction of a mutated IL-2-RG gene responsible for XKID using GLFN uh, technology platform. Uh, the transfer, transfected K562 uh, human immortalized uh, myelogenous leukemia line and T cells with ZFNs together with a donor plasmid carrying an exon 5 fragment of IL2 RG. A frequency of HDM mediated repair of up to 5 percent in primary T cells was achieved uh, since gene editing components were introduced by plasmid transfection in clinically relevant primary cells. Elevated cell toxicity and a negligible HDF frequency were observed. Uh, to tackle this problem, uh, Lombardo et al. utilized an intrigues defective lentiviral vector to package and deliver ZFN dimers and a donor template to target IL to RG in HSPCs derived from healthy donors with uh, minimum uh, toxicity. Uh, to improve the overall IL to RG targeting rates in HSPCs, uh, Genovese et al has optimized the ex vivo culture conditions as well as timing and delivery route of the editing reagents. A GFP cassette driven by the phosphoglycerate kinase promoter flanked by sequences homologous to the genomic target locus was used to check HDR frequency through GFP expression. Uh, using electroporation, uh, JDFN mRNA uh, were introduced two days after cell toying. Uh, followed by IDLV transduction of an IL to RG GFP donor template and an increase of up to 20 percent GFP positive HSPCs was uh, achieved. Uh, there was a marked increase in the frequency and yield of GFP positive targeted cells in primitive long term repopulating hematopoietic stem cells uh, as reported by Jang and uh, it was confirmed thereupon the potential of GFP in IL to RG gene correction in the ACS uh, PCs. Uh, let us now discuss a little bit about the genetic correction of SKID by Talon, which is another promising genome editing technology. Uh, in 2017, Eljubi demonstrated the application of Talon to correct a common uh, Z691A mutation in human IL2 RG uh, gene that causes XKID in pluripotent stem cells. Uh, generally, uh, hematopoietic stem cells are used for gene editing uh, geared towards clinical translation, uh, but it lacks a robust protocol to culture and expand uh, hematopoietic stem cells uh, in, in, vivo, in vitro. Uh, pluripotent stem cells on the other hand provide an unlimited source of stem cells that can be cloned and terminally differentiated into somatic cells of uh, interest. So, in this picture uh, or illustration taken from Sang et al, uh, you can see the schematics of the skid uh, disease uh, modeling and uh, the uh, skid patient 
from which the cells has been uh, obtained and uh, the, in the induced pluripotent stem cells have uh, been uh, uh, developed and uh, gene correction being done with the help of uh, talent gene editing uh, technologies and uh, these are uh, reintroduced uh, into the uh, skid uh, patients. In this case, uh, the researchers generated a mouse embryonic uh, stem cell line in which the endogenous uh, R, IL2RG locus of uh, mice was replaced by a disease causing human IL2RG uh, gene variant. The disease uh, ESC clones uh, excede uh, can differentiate into hematopoietic precursor cells. However, a arrest of T cell differentiation at a T cell uh, progenitor stage uh, occurs. The genetically corrected ESC is differentiated to CD4 plus or CD8 plus single positive T cells in the presence of IL7 and IL2, confirming correction of the cellular excid uh, phenotype. Uh, it is important to uh, design uh, the therapeutic uh, donor construct. So, for correcting the mutation in exon 5, a therapeutic uh, donor construct uh, GC common uh, gamma chain uh, containing a partial cDNA coding for exons 5 to 8 followed by the natural 3 prime untranslated region uh, UTR and a polyadenylation site was uh, generated. Natural 3 prime UTR in combination with a viral PA site was included to stabilize the mRNA and improve transcriptional termination to enhance expression of the IL to RG gene product. To prevent cleavage of the donor by the talent pair to silent mutations uh, were introduced into the left talent binding half site. The donor harbored a phosphoglycerate kinase promoter driven a pyromycin resistance cassette for selection of gene targeted cells. Excid uh, ESCs were transfected with talent expression plasmids and uh, GC donor uh, as uh, reported by Al Jubi et al. in 2017. Uh, here is a schematic of targeting strategies to correct the Z691A mutation IL2RG exon uh, 5. So, here is the left talent and this is the uh, right talent and this is the uh, IL2. RG with different uh, exons including exon 5 as you can see in this uh, diagram and this is the uh, GC uh, donor and uh, the point mutation here uh, is highlighted in uh, red uh, in this uh, figure over here. The GC donor contains the therapeutic uh, super exons and compensing exons uh, 5 to 8 a pyromycin uh, selection uh, puro R cassette and uh, homology arms to the endogenous IL to RG locus indicated by the interrupted lines. Uh, arrows mark the binding sites of the primers used for PCR based genotyping. So, in a PCR based uh, genotyping after transfection and pyromycin selection 100 resistant ESC clones were expanded and screened for targeted integration event. A PCA based genotyping was performed to detect the 5 prime junction, 3 prime junction and randomly uh, integrated uh, donors. The expected PCA amplicon of 1.15 kb was detected uh, in all the four clones. Uh, 1.9 kb product indicative of the skid allele was detected only in non-transfected uh, samples or the mock samples and uh, cells uh, transfected with the GC uh, donor clone alone. To identify uh, RI events, a PCR with a primer binding in the backbone of the GC donor was applied. Two C16, uh, C69 of the four clones were negative, uh, showing no 
RI. Uh, further uh, sequence analysis of the exome uh, 5 was done uh, as a proof of genetic correction. Uh, sequence analysis of both corrected clones confirmed uh, correction of the point mutation and the presence of the uh, sequence tag. And in this figure C you can see the sequence analysis of exon 5, the position of the uh, mutated A and the reversion to G as well as the sequence tag, uh, uh, set tag are uh, highlighted uh, in this uh, uh, figure. Genetic correction of XKID by uh, CRISPR genome editing uh, technology uh, is also now uh, a highly developed method apart from the editing by JFN and Talent Technologies. Uh, here uh, HDR mediated editing is achieved in ACE species and ACC's population both in vitro and in vivo and he, with the help of electroporation uh, with a gRNA Cas9 ribonuclein uh, protein uh, complex followed by transduction with donor molecules in a recombinant AAV6 uh, viral vector. In this uh, uh, strategy uh, up to 40 percent of targeted integration of SCID X1 AC species uh, were observed fully restoring physiological gene expression and successfully reconstituting all hematopoietic lineages in immunodeficient mine, mice transplanted with gene corrected cells. SCID X1 represents an ideal target for proof of principal gene editing studies uh, due to selective advantage of functionally corrected cells in a SCID type uh, can compensate for the relatively low rate of HDR mediated correction in AC species. Protocol optimizations are required to increase the rates of gene correction in AC species and more primitive SSCs to revert the disease phenotype where such a strong selective advantage is uh, absent. CRISPR-Cas9 has accelerated the field of gene editing because of its ease of use and high activity in a wide variety of cells and also uh, in the application of uh, gene therapy. And delivery of CRISPR-Cas9 into primary human cells uh, include human CD34 plus AC species as a ribonucleoprotein complex using fully synthesized single guide RNA molecules with N modifications to protect the guide from exonuclease degradation uh, performs uh, with high frequencies of indels. HRG approach uh, could transform the semi-random nature of viral based gene therapy to a more controlled and uh, precise strategy. By using AAV6 as a classic gene targeting donor in contrast to SS ODNs, a full CDNA can be introduced at the endogenous target. In this schematic you can see the gene correction strategy for IL to RG locus in CD34 plus uh, AC species. Uh, SCID X1 is caused by pathogenic mutation spanning the entire IL to R gene which we have uh, discussed uh, now and then uh, in, in this lecture. Uh, Pavel Dino et al developed a gene targeting strategy by integrating a complete cDNA at the endogenous IL to RG translational start site. You can see these in the central panel that would correct the vast majority of over 97% uh, of known SCID X1 pathogenic uh, mutations. By achieving efficient integration frequencies in the genome of CD34 plus LTHACs, corrected cells would ensure related endogenous expression in CD34 plus AC species uh, derive progeny for lifelong therapeutic benefits uh, to the uh, patients. Hematopoietic reconstitution from IL to RG CDNA targeted HSPCs. The toxicity and efficacy of the HRGE system can be evaluated for in vivo engraftment and multilineous hematopoietic reconstitution. Uh, following around 4 days of ex vivo manufacturing IL to RG cDNA, targeted uh, and different control cells were transplanted uh, either by intrahepatic uh, injection into sublethally irradiated 3 to 4 days old NSG, uh, non obese diabetic skid gamma mice pups, or intrafemoral injection into 6 to 8 week old NSG mice. At week number uh, 16, which is the endpoint analysis of uh, 
primary uh, engulfment. Uh, secondary engulfment uh, whereby were done by transplanting uh, human uh, CD34 plus AC species into LL NSG mice uh, derived from both IH and from IF engrafted uh, human cells. The kinetics of primary human engraftment was monitored at uh, week number 8 and 12 in bone marrow aspirates and uh, peripheral blood samples. At week 16, endpoint analysis was carried out on total uh, bone marrow, spleen and peripheral blood samples. High human engulfment levels uh, as shown by ACD45 plus HLA uh, minus ABC plus double positive uh, staining, uh, blue black circles were obtained with no statistical difference between the IL to RG CDNA targeted and control uh, cells with a wild type, mock and RNP or RNP. Transplanted uh, IL to RG targeted AC species showed a median human engraftment level of 45 percent in BM, 28 uh, percent in SP and 6 percent in uh, peripheral blood samples. The targeted uh, integration frequency of the IL to RG cDNA was 25.5 percent in uh, BM. 44.8 percent in SP and 56 percent in PB at week 16 uh, post engulfment as reported by Pavel Dino. Let us now discuss about gene editing for Jack 3 skid by CRISPR Cas9. Mutations of the Janus family kinase gene cause severe combined immunodeficiency uh, syndrome. Uh, Jack 3 deficiency in humans is characterized by the absence of circulating T cells and natural killer cells with normal numbers of poorly functioning uh, B cells. Using skid patient specific induced pluripotent stem cells and a T cell in vitro differentiation system, Chang et al demonstrated a complete block in early T cell development of Jack3 deficient cells. Correction of the Jack3 mutation by CRISPR Cas9 enhanced Gene targeting restores normal T cell development, including the production of mature T cell populations with a broad T cell receptor repertory. Whole genome sequencing of corrected cells uh, demonstrates no CRISPR Cas9 off target uh, modifications and is considered as an advantage in this case. Design of the CRISPR Cas9 system and delivery uh, six guide RNAs with introns upstream and downstream of exon 14 were designed to target wild type Cas9 or D10A Cas9 nickage, nickage near the uh, uh, design of CRISPR Cas9 system and delivery. Six guide RNAs with introns upstream and downstream of exon 14 were designed to target wild type Cas9 or the D10A Cas9 nickage near the C1837 T mutation and a correction template was used for homolysis directed repair. IPSCs were uh, nucleofected with 2 plasmids expressing the D10A castine nickase and paired guide RNAs or a single plasmid expressing wild type castine in a single guide RNA. Cells were grown in medium containing G418 for 2 weeks post uh, nucleofaction. A strategy for genome modification using CRISPR Cas9 to induce double strand breaks in the Jack3 locus and a correction template for homology directed repair uh, as shown uh, in this uh, diagram. In the top line we can see structure of the uh, Jack3 gene where the open boxes represents the various exons and uh, Red asterisk uh, is the C1837 uh, uh, mutation. The blue arrows uh, shows the guide RNAs, and the primers for 5 prime and 3 prime analysis are indicated by the uh, green arrows in this diagram. 
restoration of T cell development after CRISPR Cas9 direct trajectory correction. Uh, it is known to you that mutations of the Janus family kinase gene causes severe combined immunodeficiency disease or syndrome. Ejectory deficiency in humans is characterized by the absence of circulating T cells and natural killer cells with normal numbers of poorly functioning B cells. Uh, Chang et al developed an approach for the study of human lymphoses uh, which provided a framework for gene correction therapy in humans with uh, immunodeficiencies. For this they use key patient specific induced pluripotent stem cells and a T cell in vitro differentiation system for differentiating a complete block in early T cell development of JAK3 deficient cells. Correction of the JAK3 mutation by CRISPR-Cas9 enhanced gene targeting uh, restored normal T cell development including production of mature T cells populations with a broad T cell receptor repertory. The, see, these are some of the references uh, which were uh, consulted for preparing this uh, lecture and uh, for details of the various techniques and also some of the uh, genome uh, editing used for uh, skid therapy uh, can be found in the literary society uh, over here. Thank you for your uh, kind uh, attention. Mm -hmm.